Now one question I always get is what the heck is in your pack, Coyote? So what we're gonna do today is take off Coyote's pack and see what's in it. So this is my adventure pack. This goes absolutely everywhere with me. And it changes based on what location we're in. So right now we are in central Ohio. Uh, we're in the process of filming Dragon Tales in Coyote's Backyard. Um, so I've got my kit in here that's specifically designed for those locations. Now with Dragon Tales specifically, on the outside, I always carry my scales. I've got my typical 50 pound scale for most snapping turtles that we come across. This is the 100 pounder. This is what we use to weigh alligator snapping turtles and the common snapping turtles that are over 50 pounds. Now this is the part of my pack that usually doesn't get too wet. Uh, this is where I keep my iPhone. I use my iPhone for taking a lot of the photographs that you guys see on Instagram and on Facebook. I also have a bandana in there because for some reason I feel I may want to wipe mud off of my face. We know I get mud all over me all the time. All right, moving down to this part of the pack. This is something that I take with me absolutely every location I go to. This is a snake bite kit. Uh, fortunately, I've never been bit by a venomous snake. I've never had to use it. But even in Ohio, I like to make sure that I have this with me. I don't know how well it works because I've never used it, but if I'm ever tagged by a venomous snake, I guarantee you, you guys are gonna see this come out of my bag and we'll find out if it works. Uh, I have all these cool little packs as well from uh, T3 Tactical. I love these things. They're great for keeping all your gear in. Um, this one I keep my Petzl headlamp in. This guy's perfect for when we're out on the night adventures, looking for snapping turtles, looking for creatures in the desert, you name it. This has been with me on almost every single adventure. Then I've got my rope pouch. You never go out into the wild without some trusty paracord, just in case I need to hang something up in a tree, uh, I need to secure some tarps to keep us out of the rain, all sorts of uses for paracord. I also carry with me a compass everywhere I go, and it also has a signal mirror, see that? Uh, in case I get lost, you can use this to signal for help, you can use the compass to help get yourself out of any lost situations. Fortunately, we don't usually get lost, Oh, this is an important one. This is a advanced medical kit with quick clot. Having a first aid safety kit is something you always want to have with you on any adventure. This also has band-aids, has gauze, has needles, has just about anything that you'd need if you were injured out here in the wild. Let's see what other short goodies do we have in here. Ooh, this. Reptiles and Amphibians Field Guide with awesome color images. Now, I know most of the reptiles and amphibians I'm gonna come across on these adventures because I do a lot of research in advance. Extra pair of socks. Now, you guys know I get soaking wet and super muddy, but it feels really good at the end of the day to take off those wet, muddy boots, those soggy socks, and put on a nice, fresh, dry pair. Of course, I'm just gonna stick these back into the squishy boots, but just for that 30 seconds when your feet are dry and warm, trust me, it's worth it. Uh, I always carry with me a little field journal that I can write notes in. Woo, I got lots of stuff in here. Uh, back to the first aid and safety, I always carry with me antibacterial lotion and just simple wet one wipes in case you have to go you know what when you're out there. And if you're bitten by snakes, uh, clawed up by prickers, turtle claws, you wanna make sure you clean out your wounds as good as you can. Let's see, in this important pocket up here, permits for any location that I go to. You guys often wonder, how do you get to go into all these cool places? Well, we work with park districts and we make sure that we always have permission to come to these locations ahead of time, keep these in a Ziploc bag to make sure that they're dry and so that it's okay for us to be out here in the wild looking for all these cool animals. Last but not least, I always carry with me an extra pocket knife just in case. And this is my kit for whenever I'm in a swamp environment like Central Ohio, the Everglades, or anywhere that I'm gonna be catching turtles, snakes, alligators, or a number of other creepy crawlies that call home to the wild. I'm Coyote Peterson. This morning we're in the Sonoran Desert exploring the backside of Cat Mountain. Sun's just cresting over the horizon, which is the perfect time to find reptiles. Let's break trail and see what we can find. The Southwest Tales is an epic backdrop for any adventure. 
and there is no location more picture perfect than the Sonoran Desert. Today the crew and I are headed out to capture some of this beauty, but trust us when we say look